which one is going to be more reliable gasoline or diesel here we have our 6.7 power stroke beautiful truck 23 f450 and we're talking 1200 foot pounds of torque and uh 500 horsepower comparing that to our beautiful 7.3 liter godzilla v8 gasoline engine 470 foot pounds of torque and i think 430 horsepower correct me if i'm wrong i can't remember exactly which one of these is going to be more reliable which one of these is a better buy well at the end of the day we've heard it a thousand times it all depends on what you're doing is this going to be a fun daily driver that you tow with from time to time that you work out of or is this going to be a real serious workhorse like our 7.3 and it again depends on what you're doing for us pulling a big landscaping trailer doesn't make sense to have a diesel for this type of trailer for the distances that we drive being in the, being a maintenance truck being a uh, property maintenance truck the the diesel no bueno for this it's just too much stop and go this truck doesn't get a ton of miles it just gets a ton of stop and go it gets hours it gets oil changes it gets used it just doesn't get actual miles now for a bigger landscaper though or someone doing more of installs and they've got to drive the vehicle say 30 40 miles 50 miles 30 or 20 miles i mean the coverage area for a landscaper who's doing installs is going to be a lot of a broader coverage area than someone that does maintenance because maintenance is built up more on density depending on what you're maintaining there's a lot of route density and stuff built in so it kind of affects how far the vehicle's driven and diesels kind of need to be driven but you know, for a for an install guy that actually travels and puts miles on pulling heavy equipment, it could be worth it to have a diesel if you're gonna be towing, you know, a couple skid steers, or, you know, I don't know. It's something that you can grow into a lot more. The reason I'm asking this question is because it was brought up on Facebook by a friend of mine, Robert, who who does landscaping and does some more installs, does a ton of drainage and stuff. And he's like saying, you know, the the diesel, yeah, it pulls better, but it doesn't pull that much better than the 7.3 or any of the gas engines to where he'd get it over just to get in a, get in a 7.3 or whatever gas engine is available in like a 550, which honestly, from a business standpoint, makes a ton of sense. If it weren't for YouTube to be 100% transparent, I don't know if I'd have a diesel. You know, I, I mean, maybe I would now that I've actually gotten into it and had it for a daily driver. It makes sense. But for our work truck, I don't know. It just doesn't, for maintenance, it just doesn't work. Now, 7.3, which one's going to be more reliable? Probably the best title of the video. 7.3 liter, a liter, lot less to fail, a lot cheaper to maintain. And, I mean, will this be more reliable than a 6.7? When you look at a 6.7, you got the CP4, or what is it, the CP, so yeah, the CP4 pump, you got the CP4 pump that can go out and take out the entire fuel system, there goes 15,000, 16,000, doesn't, I mean, you think, hey, it's under warranty, not always going to be covered under warranty if it does fail, uh, you can do something about that, you can get the disaster prevention, but the whole system itself is just so much more complicated. You got direct injection, really, really high, 30,000 pound PSI fuel pressure, uh, way more coolant lines running around everywhere that can leak. As you can see, they're sitting right up here, just on top of the motor. But at the end of the day, with the 6.7, there's so much more that you can do with a 6.7 if you're into your truck. If you're, you know, messing around with it, uh, putting a cold air intake on it, putting a pusher intake on it, putting a DCR fuel pump. So if you're into trucks and you're going to be tinkering with it a lot, then diesel is the way to go. But if you're serious about business, maybe the gas is the way to go because it don't always make business sense to get the diesel if you don't need it. So when it comes to a gas truck, you don't got to mess with it. You don't got to put a cold air 
You don't got to do nothing. I mean, you it would make no sense, in my opinion, to be put in a Banks. Maybe it would sound good, though. Banks, if you see this, send your boy a cold air intake and see if it sounds good on a 7.3. I'd imagine it would. But it just, from a business standpoint, it just doesn't make sense to do anything to the work truck. Nothing fun. Because why would I? I mean, what? It, it, it just goes to work. And his whole goal is to make as much money as possible and it just doesn't make sense to spend five hundred dollars on a intake and whatever else you could do but there's again limited things that you can even do to this truck it's just kind of is what it is it kind of makes the power that it makes you i guess you could put it like a pedal monster but even so you don't even want this thing going no faster than it's going like honestly the 6.2 was a good engine because it just don't go no faster 6.2 is a good engine because it's it's more reliable than a 7.3 and it's not faster like we don't actually need a faster truck for work now when I've told my uh, maintenance trailer with my diesel the torque is way better and it's way more confident stuff pulling but it's so much power that like you better make sure everything is strapped down because it, it just yanks the trailer around now max towing on our dump trailer and beyond because when we put concrete in our dump trailer concrete's freaking heavy it gets over that weight pretty quick to the point where it's I, i've had thirty thousand in that 16k so that's twice the payload is supposed to be almost you can feel it behind a diesel and it just takes it and then i'm on the bumper too and the 450 just handles that great that's the reason i went back to a 450 uh because i can just put anything behind behind it anything on the hitch and when I mean on the hitch, I'm talking going way over the payload, even on the 450 hitch, which you're not supposed to do. But, you know, the, the way safe will weigh the hitch and it'll tell you, like, it'll go into the red. But, hey, never mind. I was joking. I never, I never, I never overloaded the hitch, actually. I wouldn't do that. And I've never put 16,000. Just say hypothetically. If I were to put sixteen thousand in, uh, or thirty thousand, I never put thirty thousand in the trailer and drove it because that would not be a wise thing to do. But uh, the four fifty handles that sixteen thousand pound trailer loaded to just perfectly at sixteen thousand pounds to max, just great. Now the seven point three, it'll still do it. Don't get me wrong, it'll still do it. But if you gotta pull down onto the freeway and get into traffic with that load. That's where it's going to take a little bit more skill from the driver because you have less options. You don't have as much as the option to pull ahead of some other vehicles. Uh, you have about as much. The, the diesel, the, the difference on the diesel is you can pull a little harder, but you can also spin the tires too, even though it's loaded pretty heavy. So uh, for me, it depends on what you're doing. If you, you know want to be tinkering with your truck and you're into trucks i think diesels you can justify it you know if you're looking at your bottom line and you're looking at the numbers then go with the gas you know that that makes a ton of sense there's a lot of things that a diesel can do that a gas can't do there's things that a gas can do that a diesel can't do one of the things that a diesel can do that a gas can't is it's is it can travel long distances so travel trailers hot shotters long callers and even if you want to drive the vehicle even empty for say five six hundred miles regularly or 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 from time to time the diesels are nice because you can get extended fuel tanks relatively cheap not a whole lot of evap stuff on the fuel tank uh and it just you can just you can jump into a diesel you can get a 60 gallon tank and, and get some thousand mile range you could drive halfway across the country on a tank of fuel so that's where diesel really shines the direct injection on the diesel with the high pressure fuel system and the way that it drinks fuel it can be pretty efficient for the size that it is traveling long distances but on the downside you have the emissions which sometimes can put the vehicle out of service so definitely something that if you don't need it for the traveling maybe not get it traveling in this can be done hot shotting it though 
I don't think you can make money hot shotting with a gas. I think the mileage is too bad. This is too impractical. But you can drive a gas truck. You can still get an extended range fuel tank on this. It's just never going to pull like an 18, 19 miles per gallon, especially with the way this one's geared at 430. So just a quick video. It's at about 10 minutes, so I'll wrap it up. But, uh, yeah, just a quick video of, you know, what are my thoughts, diesel versus gas. Comment below. I want to hear you guys' thoughts. Hope to hear from you soon. And see you in the next one. My name is Sean. This is DS Trucks. Drop your boy a sub. It's over and out.